I have done more than 2000 videos on large language model installation locally and most of the time my go to tool is text generation web UI for user interface and either VLLM or transformer or llama.cpp as backend depending upon the model's architecture and resource requirement. I have already done few videos on text generation web UI and VLLM if you just go to my channel and search but i have been asked a lot of questions around um, whenever i do that local llm installation video as how exactly to get it installed recently because there have been some changes in this text generation web ui or as it is called uba Booga. so i'm going to show you once again in 2025 it is june i guess as how to get it installed locally on your linux system you can use the same instructions for windows or mac really doesn't matter it's all about your browser and your git so make sure that you have python installed you have conda installed and you have git installed so once you have these three things installed on either windows mac or linux you should be good to go this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel so let me take you to my terminal where i'm running this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram courtesy mast compute if you're also looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus okay so let me start by creating a virtual environment with coda you can go with python virtual environment and you can even opt to not to have any virtual environment but it's always a good practice once your virtual environment is ready next step is to install all the prerequisites now this is a step where many people struggle and rightly so the reason being is that you need to install uh, your torch and torch vision and torch audio if you are using those models right according to your CUDA version so you see I am using this CUDA 12.1 um, so make sure that you uh, install the proper drivers and CUDA toolkit as per your own system and the, and especially this torch you see I am using that wheel for CUDA and towards at the last line you can see that i am going with the vllm backend engine because that is what i normally use for most of the model but you can also use transformer or llama.cpp and there are various other backend engines which are supported by this text generation web ui uh, i think you can go with xlama you can go with tensorrt and even you can do it through docker there are a lot of other uh, setups which you can do it is 100% offline and private with zero telemetry external resources or remote update request and that is why i also like it because um, i'm quite confident it doesn't send any data outside when i am running my models i have also done some auditing on it on my outgoing packet packets through some of the packet sniffers and i didn't see anything going out i mean i can't be 100 percent uh, certain because you never know in cyber security that is what i have learned the hard way but as far as i can tell um it, it is quite offline you can also do some automatic prompt formatting using Jinja to templating and it, it also allows you to do some even uh, file attachments. So <clears throat> for example, you can go with rag and all that sort of stuff. You can also integrate some sort of web search, but that takes a bit of a work and the UI is very simple. Um, you know, you can have multiple chats. You can switch between different models without restarting your um, uba booga and it primarily runs really really good on nvidia gpus you can not only go with the full precision models but also with the quartz and ggf format and i will also show you where you can download the ggf once it is installed so let's wait for it to get installed while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. And all the prerequisites are now done. Okay, now 
Next step is to git clone the repo of text generation web UI and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Clone the repo cd into it and once you have cd it then you need to install all the prerequisites and this is a step which has also changed from last time so this is a full path of new requirements.txt file so you can see that i am installing all the requirements this primarily installs most of the things which we already have installed uh, in addition to few other things so but this is a very important point that is why i try to install those things which i showed above by myself as per the version of my cuda so that it won't complain about it okay so that is all done now our text generation v uh, web ui is done now one more thing which you can do here if you don't want to go with vllm and stuff instead of running all those requirement and stuff you can simply run this script start and then you can go with for linux there is a linux script and i believe for windows there is a windows script and for mac there is a mac script so you can just re run these scripts as per your operating system and they are going to install everything as per your own operating system but um, i have optimized this setup for my linux system so that is why i like to follow this and you can follow the same as per your own operating system there is no difference and it also works everywhere you don't have to worry about all those different scripts so i use the same commands on every operating system that is why i like to do it the way i am doing it so please don't make it a religious for if you follow or prefer any other go for it i am not forcing anyone to use my way this is just um, an example okay so our text generation web ui is done next step is to download the model so from the root of the repo now they provide a very good script which is download model.py and you can um, just run this script to download your model for that all you need to do is to just maybe go to huggingface.co and from there just search for any model like i mean for example if i say uh, i'll just do it in front of you open reasoning or whatever something like that i'm just going to open this and then grab this uh, models repo so this is going to copy what i have just copied here it is the nvidia model which i'm showing you but you can use whatever you like now one very important point here is that even if before you run it if you are using a gated model then first go to hugging face page for like jamma and stuff and accept the terms and condition from your profile on the top you can just go to your profile and then in the settings you would need to grab this access token i'll just confirm my password so i have these tokens so just create a new token it's a free token and then you would need to go back here you would need to type hugging face underscore cli or something like that and once you press it it is going to ask you for your read token and that should be it so for instance if i do this and it is going to ask my read token and you can just press capital y and now i am logged in as you can see on the second hand um second last line okay so once that's done you can download the model and you don't have to do it for every model only for the gated models and once you run this download model script it is going to download the model on your local system as you can see there are two shards of it and the model is currently being downloaded so let's wait for it to get downloaded and i will then show you how to serve it with text generation web ui and vllm on your local system and the model is now downloaded now you can simply serve this model by the server.py script where we are specifying the path to the model which uh, we can get from here and then we are using the vllm engine and we are trusting that remote code and this is our context length of 32k let's run this and this will i just keep it like this 32 or something and it is going to launch this text generation web ui on our local host after loading the model onto the gpu and it will serve it with vllm as you can see here so if you go to your browser 
and then you can search localhost 7860 this is text generation web ui running for you on the left hand side if you go to the model you see model is already loaded let's suppose uh, you don't want to you just have run server.py you haven't specified any other model or later on you want to download another model all you need to do is to just go to hugging face from here maybe i'll just say ggf or something like that so i'm just going to go with this Gwen 3 embedding just as an example uh let's grab this repo name i'm showing you how to download ggf model so just paste ggf model here come back go to the files and then maybe we will um pick up this file i'll just click on it just to show you so maybe this is a ggf file you can simply select this copy it from here and then go back you can even do the get file list you press get file you see it is showing you both of the file you can copy from here and then you can paste and start downloading it it will download the model you don't have to restart anything and then you would all you need to do is to grab the model from here and then click on load that's it and once you are done just go back to the chat here after saving and then you can just expand it and you can <clears throat> just start chatting with the model i'm just going to let's say ask it hey smile you're on camera i'm recording this for a youtube video the model is thinking what the heck is happening and then it is doing its chain of thought and all that stuff so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this any issues let me know in the comments uh, if you like it please like the video and share it if you haven't already subscribed do me a favor and subscribe to the channel thank you very much